Question of the Day, or QOD, is included in 2020 training. The goal of QOD is to quickly and consistently reinforce important information with 15 to 20 second one question quizzes throughout the week. When the question of the day is received, employees simply click on the alert to participate. Designed to take seconds, not minutes, employees receive information, answer a quiz question, get instant feedback, and view a leaderboard to see how they performed compared to other team members. The question of the day settings tab is visible to 2020 subscribers in the control panel. Clicking the QOD tab will take you to the scheduler. Here you can create new QOD schedules or edit and view the history of existing schedules. Schedules have a kind of easy button setup option, but also include customization tools and an option for one-off QODs which are not part of a set schedule. A schedule determines who receives the question of the day, how often it is received, and at which time. For instance, here we see there is a company-wide schedule that is sent at 8 a.m. to everyone in the company. To create a new QOD schedule, click Add a Schedule. First, name the schedule, like welders only. Then choose the time of day iScout will send the questions. You can also provide a description of the schedule. But note that the description is only visible to administrator role types. A cutoff time creates a window of opportunity for the recipients to participate. You can create a window of time from 15 minutes to 8 hours. When the cutoff time is reached, the alert is removed from the user's open task list and they will no longer be able to answer that particular question from the schedule. Next, choose the audience for this schedule. Is this for everyone in the company? or is it for individuals with a certain job title or those who work in a specific location or department? From there, click the calendar tab to choose which day or days of the week questions will be sent in this schedule. You can click individual days inside the calendar or click add dates to choose how long a schedule will last and which days of the week a question will be sent. The default schedule range begins the current day and ends the last day of the following year. Click Tuesday, and you will see how many dates that will include throughout your schedule. If you add Thursday, that number will indicate a total number of dates. Once a date range is established and you have selected the days of the week, users will receive a question. Just select Save, and you will return to the schedule page. To remove a date from the schedule, you can click on it in the calendar and simply select Delete or you can click Clear Dates and choose the days or date range to be removed. A total of pending dates to be removed will display in red. Click Clear to remove the selected dates from the schedule and confirm. Now we can see a list of upcoming questions and the date they are scheduled to send. By default, the schedule pulls questions from quizzes in each lesson in your library and randomizes them for each QOD. Scrolling up and clicking Select Lessons allows you to choose the specific lessons from which the schedule will pull quiz questions. For example, if you create a schedule meant for welders, you could choose to have questions pull from lessons like hot work, confined space, hand protection, and PPE. You can change an upcoming question by clicking Edit or the date of the question in the calendar. This screen gives you several options. The first is the ability to edit the send date for this specific question. You may need to change dates to accommodate holidays or other scheduling conflicts. Another option is to delete this question from the schedule entirely. Maybe instead of delaying questions due to a holiday, they are simply deleted. A third option is to edit the question itself. In the same way you edit quiz questions in 2020, here you can reword the question, change the possible answers, or replace the image. Any edits here are specific to QOD and do not affect the quiz of the corresponding lesson in your library. A fourth option is to import a question. This button lets you replace this quiz question with another one from your lessons. Just select the new topic, new question, and click confirm. The last option in the editor is to start over. This will delete the question slide and allow you to create a custom question in its place. You can add an image, narration, question, and possible answers, then click Save.
With the goal of presenting frequent and brief refresher moments to increase employee engagement, each QOD is limited to three slides. Once the schedule and questions are set, you can select Save, and the schedule is now a tab on the Question of the Day main screen. To edit an existing schedule, click the pencil icon in the upper right. You can also delete a schedule from this screen. Another option on the schedule page is to assign a one-off. This allows you to send a question of the day immediately, perhaps in response to an incident or to send pertinent information on the fly. Click assign a one-off, give the one-off a name, a cutoff window, a description, and a recipient list. You can create your own question or import one from your lesson library. When you're ready to send, simply click Send Now and Confirm. The system cycles for one-offs every five minutes, so it may take as long for notifications to be received. The Question of the Day module also includes analytics. To view performance data of an individual question of the day, you can click the graph icon in the upper right or the dashboard link next to a sent question. Here you can filter by employee location or line of business. You can also see a breakdown of the answers, the leaderboard, and percentage graphs for responses and answer results. To see performance data of all previously sent questions in a schedule, go to the Analytics section under the Training tab. By default, analytics are set to display performance data for 2020 lessons. Just select one or more QODs to view the data the same way you would a 2020 lesson. Break down QODs by schedule name, employee, total completions, and individual question results with the top missed quiz questions listed first. Identifying poor performing QODs will alert you to topics that need emphasis in future training. QOD data can be received as an automated report by creating a rule in the control panel. When adding data to your rule, select 2020 Analytics to access question of the day. There are settings in the control panel related to QOD. One is in the employee settings. Here you can set the notification method to email, push notification, or both. After adjusting your settings, make sure to click Save. Another control panel setting for QOD is in the Roles and Permissions grid. This permission setting determines which role types can manage the QOD module. Question of the day is a great way to keep safety and operational information on the minds of your team by reinforcing content quickly and consistently. For more information about question of the day, visit help.iscout.com or send us an email to help at iscout.com.